conflicts, enduring trials. Amen. I can face all crises. Amen. There's no problem too hard. Amen. There's no difficulty too too Amen. much. There's nothing that's going to stop me Amen. from doing what God's called me to do. And Amen. Then that's the type of attitude that church has to have. You have to be like a pit bull on a pork chop. You have to be, you know what, man? You ain't going to let nothing stop you. You ain't going to let nothing deny you. You're not going to give up. You're not going to give in. You're not going to throw in the towel. You're not going to slow down. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep moving. You're going to keep pursuing. You're going to be on it. And in it. Until Christ comes back. Amen. Through Christ. What does that mean? I can do all things through Christ. What does that mean? You don't do it alone. You and I, amen, are dependent upon God. We don't do it alone. Our dependency is in God. Amen. He's the source of my power. And then the last part says, he strengthens me. Amen. That means that he's the source of our power. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It don't matter how big of a trial. It don't matter how difficult. And God will deal with you. God will. You will go through the fire. But the scripture says you will not be burned. Amen. You will go into the water. But you will not be drowned. Amen. You are an overcomer. Now listen to me. Jesus Christ himself lives in you. The Bible says greater is he that lives in you than he that's in the world. He is the greatest overcomer that ever lived. And he lives inside of you. You're an overcomer. Revelations 2.7 says this. It says, To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life. That's in paradise. Who's going to eat from the tree of life? It's those that overcome. It's those that endure to the end that will be saved. It's those that say, I don't care what I'm going through, what difficulty I'm facing, what hardship I'm going through, that I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep going to church. I'm going to keep reading my Bible. I'm going to keep believing God. I'm going to keep giving to the church. I'm going to keep getting involved in ministry. I'm going to keep pursuing my gift. I'm going to keep on doing what I need to do for Jesus. Amen. And don't worry what people say about you. Amen. Worry about what God says about you and do what God tells you to do. Amen? People will talk. How many know there are going to be a lot of haters? Amen? Amen. Drinking that hater rate. Amen? Come on, somebody. But you and me, you know what we need to have? We need to have faith and determination. Faith and determination go a long way. It'll bring God's power and help us win. Amen? How many are determined here? Amen? Amen. We need to be like Joshua. He said, as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. It was a challenge. Amen? It's a challenge. Amen? To every spiritual dropout when they hear that. As for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. That was a daring commitment to God that he made. Out of a good character. Amen. A declaration of determination. Amen. The scripture says that you and me are either gathering or we're scattering. He that is not with me is against me, Jesus says. And I'm here to let you know here tonight there's two sides to life. And God will not violate your will. You can choose Jesus or you can choose. It's your choice. But let me tell you something. It's the people that choose Jesus that are going to be victorious. We need to choose Christ. Amen. And serve Him with all of our heart. How many can say amen tonight? It's a serve Him. No matter what happens. Amen. And we need to know that all things are working together for the good. Amen. That God has a purpose through everything we go through. That we can't just be dead. We're Christians. Amen. That we're, you know what? Every situation. Amen. We know that it's God working. It's working for our good. 
Because God is trying to build us. God's got a plan for us. Think about it. The way you first were when you got saved. Or before you got saved. Man, some of you are so changed. Some of you, I mean, if you were to look at, and think about some of the things you did, man, it'll blow, it just blows you away because you are a different person. God has changed you. God has transformed you. God has a purpose for you. Amen. And you're going somewhere. And through the years, amen, God's going to change you more. God's going to see all those prayers come to pass. God's going to do great and mighty things. God's taking you somewhere. He didn't just save you, amen, because He didn't have nothing better to do. God has a plan for you. He said, I chose you. You didn't choose me. I have a plan to prosper you, to give you a hope in the future, just like Brother Sherry. God's taking us somewhere, amen. But you and me need to be people, amen, that, amen, that have an overcoming spirit. We need to be fighters. I remember being in the men's home. That's where I learned how to fight. That's how I learned how to get on my knees and pray and worship and get equipped to overcome. There was something that I learned along the way in serving God that really helped me. And it was called the inspiration and power of the Holy Spirit. That it didn't matter what I was going through. And that I could call upon God and God would come. And it, it didn't matter how big of the problem. God would give me clarity and understanding how to be able to deal with certain things. Have you ever just, you know, come home from work and separated yourself and put on the worship music and went in there and just begin to pray and worship? Try it. I dare you to go get a hold of God. You'll be changed. Your life will be changed. Amen. You won't want a lot of TV. You won't want a lot of the world. You won't want a lot of the things, amen, that are here. I mean, you'll want more of God. The scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Fall in love with Jesus, church. Fall in love with Jesus. Spend time with Jesus. Turn on the music. Get empowered by the Holy Spirit. That's what's going to matter. That's what's going to help you at work. That's what's going to help you in your marriage. That's what's going to help you in your life. That's what's going to help you in your mind. That's what's going to help you in, in your character. Amen. Jesus. Amen. We need it because we're at work and we deal with the world, man. We deal with perverted people and perverted thoughts and different things, amen. And how many know we need to live a separated life? Right. A sanctified life unto God. 